Hey guys, let me just show you a quick, easy way to get um, PNG files into VoxEdit. So pieces of art and things like that. So navigate to where you've got the art you want to use. Here's a picture of, of Chuck. I, um, I open up uh, Magic of Voxel. I hit this arrow right here so I can actually select the object. I hit delete so the entire frame is empty. And it's really simple. I literally just drag this file into Magic of Voxel and it creates a voxelized version of it. I will save this as a vox, um, as a .vox file, just click on save, save it as a vox file. Then, then open up uh, vox edit, create a new asset under your animator. We're going to create a child node, we'll call it anchor. You've always got to have one empty node after the root. Create one more child node, call that whatever you want. I'm gonna call it, in this case, I'm gonna call it Chuck. I'm going to import a VOX file, go find the um, that box that you saved out of Magic of Oxel, click on open. You might want to look at it to make sure the colors all look right. I'm going to rotate this a couple times so that it's facing up and facing out. Now it is only one pixel thick, but it works really well for wall art. Um, I'm going to hit back and save it, yes, and then it's as simple as just dropping this into that chuck. If you want the... Um, if you want the pivot point to be at the bottom of the asset versus the center, the center means that you'll be able to twist it this way in Game Maker, which is generally where you're going to want it. But if for whatever reason you want it in the to be flush with the ground, just come back in here, click on set to center, set to floor, go yes. And now you have an asset that's set to the floor. From there, file export to marketplace and you'll be able to use your flat PNG art as a asset in your sandbox games. Thanks.